Hello, real estate investors. In today's quiz, I have a question for you. How can you find a great neighborhood? Here are three tips I give you. First of all, after numbers making sense of the investment property you want to buy and uh, the equations, rent, uh, mortgage, everything makes sense, I strongly suggest you to drive through the neighborhood and uh, just check it for yourself. What you have to look into What you have to look into in that neighborhood is just make sure all the neighbors are having a beautiful house. They maintain the house, the front yard, there's nothing broken. They properly painted their uh, front door and the garage door and uh, the uh, trim, the, um, the, uh, the flowers. Everything looks beautiful and nice from outside. That shows that it's a great neighborhood. People are taking care of their house and they, there is a pride of ownership in that neighborhood versus a neighborhood that is a crappy, looks ugly, papers, trash, garbages are all over. And that, if you buy that house in that neighborhood, that house is not even appealing to a tenant who would like to go to that house. What kind of tenant would like to go to the house that neighborhood is, is, is bad? Guess what? A bad tenant you don't want that one so that's the first thing to know secondly you have to drive through that neighborhood through different hours you will be surprised <coughs> to what you see <coughs> what you see after you go uh, check the the, uh, the neighborhood in different hours go af after kids coming back to uh, home from a school go in the weekends sometimes you see 200 kids playing on the street uh, everybody's double parked their cars, they, uh, the uh, streets look small and uh, crowds are all over outside yelling or screaming. That's not a great neighborhood you want to go. You're looking for a peaceful, nice prop, uh, place. Of course, there could be here and there some kids playing outside, but that's normal. That's okay. After all, that's their house, but you stay away from the neighborhood or street that um, is not that great in terms of being busy, being dirty, crowded, uh, people screaming, yelling, and that kind of thing. And thirdly is after checking the neighborhood, going different hours, you have to talk to your neighbors. Believe it or not, whether you like it or not, I strongly suggest you to go to your neighbors, uh, one on the right, one on the left, maybe on the front, um, other side of the street. Just go and have a casual talk to them. Tell them you're interested in buying this house. How do you like the neighborhood? Uh, you will be surprised what you will hear from them. If they've been there for 35 years, that's a good sign. It means they love the neighborhood. They don't want to leave the neighborhood. If they are complaining, well, there's a crime growing here. Uh, there is this issue and that issue. They try to bring a uh, bus stop here. We have 200 bus coming every day. Uh, all of those you can find out from the neighbors. And that's another, that is another indication for you if this is the right street for you, the right neighborhood or not. And I hope this helps you in your, uh, in your uh, portfolio of information that you have for real estate investment. And uh, hope to see you next time.